Hello, this is the first of three videos from me today on day three down here at Imperial. I'll keep them short. The first one is about assessing creativity. Uh, one of the things that this course is intended to do is help uh, students develop their creative design skills. And uh, it's tempting to think of creativity uh, is, as only in the answer, but what I'm interested in is actually the creativity of the process. And in fact, that's what the, the whole team here is interested in. So I just thought I'd share some of the things that I've been looking for in the students' response responses to our questions, uh, so in, in the student submissions as we've been doing our end of day uh, walk around. Um, so for me, I'm looking for a range of inputs into the creative process. So make sure they're gathering lots of information, filling the collider scope as uh, I call it. So um, have they got a diversity of inputs? Have they spoken to each other? Have they clearly collated those inputs and, and uh, talked to each other about them? And then have they form, have they attempted to arrange the information in different ways in order to produce multiple answers? Uh, have they looked for different connections and different possibilities? Um, have they managed to proceed uh, for a while without discounting ideas before they actually move into uh, more convergent thinking? And have they managed to preserve some sort of exciting creative vision, some magnificence, which has been the word of the week actually, I think, uh, through their design? or are they getting quite sort of reductive? Anyway, those are some thoughts from me on how to assess uh, the creative process uh, that civil engineers are using. More from me in just a moment.